This is a quick overview and tutorial of how to use Resolve's latest browser functionality so that you can access 2D information in virtual reality. Think of things like one-line diagrams, operating procedure manuals, uh, or even videos that you might want to reference when you're looking at your model in VR to make sure you have all the information you need to make important decisions. Uh, so it's going to start on the Resolve web dashboard. <clears throat> Let's say I want to bring in a one-line diagram from BIM 360 here. Uh, into virtual reality and open it there. I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL. And now I'm going to go to add bookmark. Now I'm going to paste in the URL right here and give it a description. I'll say one line diagram. And then I'll choose a project. I'll go to my substation project. What happens when I click add bookmark is this is going to add it to my list of bookmarks that are quickly accessible in VR, which I'll show you shortly. And this is going to do it for the entire project. So anyone can see these bookmarks and I can see other bookmarks people have added uh, instead of having you upload this PDF directly to resolve and now creating a fork of this document. We're going to be referencing the one on BIM 360 so that if you update it, that bookmark will always point back to the single source of truth. You can add bookmarks from Procore or other document management systems so that you can easily reference those systems within Resolve in VR. So I'm going to click add bookmark. Great. The bookmark has been added. Let me also show you how to do a video just for examples. So I'm going to take this lockout tag out safety video from YouTube. I'm going to post it into the bookmark. Now I've added a second bookmark, which I will now show you in virtual reality. Okay. Now that I am in virtual reality, I've put my headset on to access resolve. So I'm in my model. If I look down at my menu, there is a little web browser icon. Now when I open that, I get a bookmarks page. I'm going to click this to hide the keyboard. So you can see there's three bookmarks here. The first one will always appear by default. You don't have to add that one. That is a direct bookmark to your BIM 360 project page. The next two are the ones that I showed you how to add. The second one is that one line diagram that I had uploaded to BIM 360 and bookmarked. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now I'm already logged into BIM 360. If you have not yet accessed BIM 360 or whatever service you're using through this browser, you will have to log in, but that's a one-time thing. Now the diagram has loaded up and in the BIM 360 viewer, if I go to this zoom option, when I click the trigger and move up and down, I can zoom in and out and then I can go back to the panning tool. And so now I can look at this drawing. Let's say I wanted to put this piece um, up in the model for my colleagues to see. I can click share screenshot. That takes a screenshot of the current web page, and you can now see it says grab this image to place it in your model. I will hover over it and press the green grip button. And now I can put this in the world. So I grab my browser there, I can put that right there. Now that will stay in the model so that when others come in, they have access to that diagram. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out the video in Resolve here. So I'm gonna click that video press play. Lockout step. Okay. Now the video starts playing. Tagging the machine tells other people and I can position this if I want to use it as a point of reference. So if I hover over my browser and press the green button, I can put it there. And now I can look at the equipment and look at the video for reference. I'm going to pause that. So that's a quick demo of how you can use the Resolve browser for everything from 2D documents to videos. If you have live dashboards of equipment health, uh, you can also bring that in and pull it up while you are looking at your model. We really wanna give you easy access to information that is on your computer while you're in virtual reality. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any feedback, as always, you can contact us.